Hey my loves so today i was actually cleaning my makeup stash because there was a sandstorm and everything got dusted on my vanity so i just removed this and i thought i would uh, just clean it up and uh, then i thought why not i'll just show you some of the products that i have over here which are all huda beauty products most of them are i'll just show you some swatches and um, just give my bit review about it some of the products i have in depth review on them and some i will do now actually you can't say review but i'll just show you some and um, then we can uh, go ahead and just check this one okay so here are all the stuff which i'll be cleaning later anyways here is the desert dusk palette it's amazingly beautiful palette and uh, these are total i think 25.5 2 grams of shadows in here which are 18 shadows and uh, they are 25.2 grams uh, totally and then, then this is the textured uh, palette this palette is actually i think discontinued or will be discontinued soon so get your hands on this one because it's really nice palette as you can see i just love the shades in here the uh here you can see the metallic shades and these are the so wait okay these are the pressed pearls and these are the mats the mats in here are really really nice so if you want me to do review on this one i'll uh, surely do that and it's a really nice palette if you want to invest in one palette i think you should go for this one and if you think uh, which one to buy like if you want to buy any of the two palettes like either desert dusk or rose gold i think you should uh, go for rose gold because it's really amazing and you can create a uh, everyday look to glam look with this one and uh, these are 0.99 grams of each shadow and into 18 means almost you can say 18 grams of uh, shadows in here and in this palette there are 25 grams maybe because of the kind of shadows that are in here uh, the weight changes obviously so yeah that is there so these are the three palettes that huda has come up with i'll just show you and yes please do let me know in the comment section if you want me to review on each of the product particularly so here is the first palette this is the summer highlight palette and i think this is the most favorite i use it uh, you can see here but uh, the swatches on hands are like uh, see but it doesn't show so much on the face but uh, it is kind of hint of purple and it does not show as bright as they show on my finger like the finger swatches are okay but um, as you can see on my hand it even appears lighter than this one when you apply with the brush and these are the four shadows in here these are also really nice uh, I shall sorry not eye shadows uh, these are also really nice highlighters i really like them and this is my palette i think uh, i use it every time i do my makeup this is the palette i go for because it has the shades that uh, i need the most like this one and malibu over here and now this is a palette just see how gorgeous she looks and this is the pink sands i wish they had a mirror over here but uh, it's fine and these are also amazingly beautiful shades uh, and here this is the cream like you can see it's highly pigmented and these are all the three highlighting toppers on this one like first you have to apply the cream and then you have to go for this one but i personally don't like uh, cream highlighters a lot so i usually go for the shades in here directly because uh, difficult to blend uh, the cream shadows with the foundation that is like a high coverage if i say huda beauty for foundation then it's really difficult uh, to blend now here i love this shade this is zanzibar which is almost like a blush uh, actually it's a blush highlighter like if you want something like if it's not a matte blush if you want something that uh, gives nice uh, flush to your face then this is the one to go for 
and you can see it looks so damn blinding but uh, in real it's not that blinding as it may look with the flash and uh, Fiji is uh, something I actually like but again this is the cream highlighter like this is the concept of a like uh, the cream highlighter and then you can go for this one but uh, I don't know I really find difficult to blend this uh, cream highlighter on top of my Huda Beauty foundation particularly because I think that's high coverage and it uh, settles on the skin maybe because of that reason yeah so next we move on uh, the foundation I have done an in-depth review and excuse all these things because uh, I need to clean them and uh, this is my foundation shade it's a uh, shy I have done in-depth review if you want I, I, I'll uh, actually uh, set the link in the description box and you can check over there if you want in-depth review of this one and any particular product if you want uh, in-depth review I'll definitely do that Mm, next me we move on yeah mm. yes i forgot to mention the price uh, this is for i think uh, 4850 rupees on nika both the eyeshadow palettes i don't know about the highlighter palettes they are not yet on nika this is the huda beauty brush i know it's in the worst condition now uh, blend and buff it's really lightweight but i really want uh, something like a uh, bit heavy on hand like i personally like that you know feeling of uh, holding a brush like uh, it, if it has some weight I feel it's uh, much more easier to grab and apply rather than just it's lightweight I don't know it uh, seems like a plastic yeah I think it's it is plastic it's not wood so this is plastic and this is gunmetal the finish of this foundation brush actually the buff brush is actually really nice I really appreciate uh, how dense and nice it is and it really applies uh, nicely just as my beauty blender does I really love this uh, brush as in the bristles over here are really nice and uh, yeah it's about the handle which I really don't appreciate that much because uh, it's not wood and it is really lightweight but overall I think this brush really works nicely and uh, this area it really goes into the corners so again this one on nika is for i think 1800 rupees uh you can check there okay okay next we move, we move on here these are the uh what you can see yeah these are the lip strokes that i have in here i think lip strokes are not yet available on nika and uh, the lip tints are also not available the contour kit is all not available and uh, even the lip contours are not available as in the lip liners and uh, the mini obsession palettes those are not available and I think uh, even the highlighter palettes are not available which I really am looking forward to and yes about the eyelashes okay so next uh, I want to show you the eyelashes so this is the mink collection I have uh, three of these oh sorry it's not three it's a two of these Two of this mink collection eyeshadows uh sorry not eyeshadows blah, blah, blah. what am i saying uh the lashes and uh, it's really nice i think the price of uh, eyelashes go from um, 1195 to 1495 and depending on which eyelashes you choose and i really love uh, how this bands are and uh, the mink lashes are actually very nice compared to the other ones which are like um, you can see some are like form in as in they replicate uh, mink but they are not actually mink lashes and these are really dramatic i am not someone who goes for like something so dramatic but these are again really nice and the packaging is also cool and uh, yeah if you want me to do review on this one i'll definitely do but the thing is i usually don't like something that has a thick band like this one as you can see it has a bit thicker band but anyway we can work it out yes okay so shall i move to lip contours oopsie and just excuse the mess that i have here okay oh yes i also forgot to say these are the mini lip kits that are available uh you can see the shades here venus bombshell flirt and 
ट्रेंड सेटर दीज आर द वन्स लाइक यू कैन गेट द नॉर्मल वन्स ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एंड दिस इज लाइक यू कैन से अ वेरी लोअर रेट एंड यू कैन गेट फोर ऑफ द शेडोज नॉट वॉट आई माई सींग शेडोज अगेन एंड अगेन फोर ऑफ द लिक्विड मैथ्स दीज आर वन पॉइंट नाइन एम एल ईच एंड फोर फोर ऑफ द शेड यू कैन सी सी एवरीथिंग हैज डस्ट ओवर हेयर आई हैव टू क्लीन इट सो दिस आर वन पॉइंट नाइन एम एल यूज यू कैन सी एंड इन टू फोर एज इन यू कैन सी अप्रॉक्सीमेटली एट मिल्स दैट इज फाइन दैट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू टू ऑफ द ओरिजिनल वंस एंड आई हैव दिस इज द pink edition the pink edition has gossip girl trophy wife icon and uh, socialite and yes this shade looks exactly how they are looking on camera now but uh, if you lip swatch maybe depending on the colors of your lip the lip color won't show as uh, shown in the picture but if you swatch it they are actually like how they are seen here with the flashlight you can see that's the actual color so trend set of flirt spice girl and vixen this is the brown edition my favorite is the pink edition and the nude edition so flirt and trend set again is uh, in both the things so you don't have to buy particularly both of them see because the uh, flirt and uh, trend set is here flirt and trend set is here as well so you don't necessarily need to buy it and now this is something really nice this is called the red edition but it has only the one red that is the heartbreaker and the other material girl show girl and famous these are really nice i think show girl and socialite are the two new shades which has this which are metallic uh, mattes actually and uh, they are really nice i love them and in here yes in here i have the huda lash glue excuse this i just tore it fast drying and waterproof and it's really nice i really like it because it gets uh, tacky within a uh, few seconds and easy to go what is this yeah this is uh, okay now okay this is the video star this is the liquid matte and the color swatches i am not swatching it if you want me to do a in depth review i'll definitely do that the color swatches exactly like how this is if you wait i'll just show you how it does okay, okay. so this is how it swatches and my god this highlighter in flash looks so amazing and uh, liquid mats if you really want to go for it just go for it because they are amazing you can see the color swatch is exactly like how it shows on the carton here the swatch is almost same not say yeah it is actually same but it doesn't pick up so much on the camera but this look exactly same Now next we move on. What I have here? Yeah, I have the Huda Beauty primer base, which I actually didn't like it so much. I mean, I really love the foundation, but I really didn't like this one. It has a strong smell, and uh, yeah, it's not exactly how I thought it would be. and it's not uh, the silicon based primer like we usually get it's a cream base and it has yeah it has a nice pump i'll just show you i just love the packaging of this one it's really nice okay wait and how it expires it expires after 12 months from opening and actually i didn't use it this one i used the one with the, my foundation and i have not used uh, this primer yet but uh, yeah this is the pump how it is I have not used this one because I thought I would uh, finish the samples which I got, and I really didn't like it. So I am using my regular primer with my foundation, yeah, Huda Beauty foundation, obviously. But uh, I really love the foundation. I am not a fan of uh, this primer. 
दो बट लेट सी इफ इट वर्क आउट विद अदर फाउंडेशन आई हैव नॉट ट्राइड विद माई अदर फाउंडेशन एंड दिस इज इट ओके हाउ मेनी ग्राम इट हैज ओके एंड दिस इज लाइक ओके एंड दिस इज थर्टी मील्स ऑफ द प्राइमर विच इज एक्चुअली क्वाइट गुड फॉर द प्राइज एंड आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ दिस इज अवेलेबल इन नाइका आई थिंक इट्स नॉट अवेलेबल इन नाइका एंड दीज आर ऑल द उप्स द हुडा ब्यूटी लिक्विड मैट्स आई टेल यू आई एम सच अ बिग फैन ऑफ हर्स लाइक आई जस्ट लव हर and she is amazing lady and she is actually coming with more stuff i don't know what it is but uh, it is kind of surprise to us and she has not shown okay so we'll go one by one okay now this is the summer edition which i think uh, it was time limited i'm not sure if it's available now as well jet setter and it swatches exactly like how it is here Here we go. Oh, uh, this is called girlfriend bombshell. Again, I showed you this one in the minis also. Venus. This one was also in the minis. A. Uh, uh, this is Vixen. This was as well in the minis. Anyways, I have to clean this. Okay, so this is a flirt trendsetter and spice girl. Yeah, you can see the exact color. This is how it is. Now this three, a uh, famous show girl and material girl. Mm, these three. And please let me know in the comment section which one you want me to swatch so I'll definitely do that. a uh, socialite heartbreaker and i could and the shades look exactly like how they are now and this one is a uh, trophy wife and gossip girl okay so these are there mm Now next we move move on to this one. Yes and so please if you want to know the entire makeup collection video or something like that I'll definitely do that as well. Please uh, let me know in the comment section and yes please uh, share my videos with your friends because um, uh, as you might know like the new YouTube policy Uh, we need at least 1000 subscribers before uh, february 20th and also we need uh, like 8000 oh, sorry not 8000 and also we need 4000 hours of view time uh, per year that is around uh, 11 hours per day and mine is only 78 hours since i started my channel so i really need more people Oopsie. Okay. So, okay, here we go. This is Crush Wifey and Muse. I really love this shade Muse. Uh Wifey is also actually nice and the Crush. If you can see. This is uh, Mama Sita Bikini Babe and Wild Child. This are the summer edition, and the swatches are almost the same as how it looks on the packaging. The worst thing is I'll have to clean up everything because uh, I was so stupid to. keep everything on my vanity even when there was a like the wind storm i mean the sand storm and i ruined everything about everything so it's everywhere it's so dusty okay so i'll swatch some of the 
what are these uh blah, blah. these are called the lip strobes uh i really think this works really nice as stoppers rather than just uh, like applying them as a gloss actually these are more like gloss you can see it's like other name for the gloss but uh, yes the formula is a bit different and it's nice and see this is how it uh, it goes to pink hue and i really like the shade and it really works nice as a topper and yes uh, the consistency is like thick as cream which i really like and what about the mats it's nicely and uh, they don't feel like heavy on your lips okay whereas the, the lip uh, liquid mats were like 5 ml these are 4 ml not 5 the lip strokes are only 4 ml ooh and i don't know the price about these ones but um, i think uh, the liquid mats are for around uh, 1600 yeah oh yes there are some more mm, liquid mats which i forgot to show and these are also my favorite ones you can see a uh, cheerleader here medusa uh, sugar mama and silver fox silver fox is something i have never used because that color is not my alley but uh, cheerleader is something i really like uh, it's kind of uh, red which i actually prefer after heartbreaker heartbreaker is one of my favorite red but uh, cheerleader is also something really nice and if you want to go for red but not exactly like oh, that kind of red then i think you should really try this one this is amazing and uh, the best thing about this um, uh, liquid mats are that uh, they do give you like nice feel on lips they don't give you like dry or cakey feeling like how the other lip uh, liquid mats do and uh, they dry like uh, a really thin film okay the other thing is the metallic mats are not exactly uh, as good as the uh, the normal liquid mats because i don't know because of the chunkiness of the glitters in there uh, i don't know what makes it feel a bit chunky a bit heavy on the lips okay now talking about this one this is so pretty i mean i just love this color but i am not someone who uses this color like on regular basis no way but uh, i'll definitely try to use it like if i'm creating any looks i'll definitely use this one but i'm not someone who goes for this deep color i used once as my eye eye shadow base once i used it yeah and i really like the shade it's really nice and it turns out as good as it is shown on the box this is snowby and the formula of all these ones are almost same you can say these are the you can say these are the liquid glosses or something now saucy foxy and shameless and these look exactly like how they are looking here and here we go next uh, rizzy and fearless again these are like similar as this one and this is uh, sugar mama no sorry this is enchanting and this is posh like i hope you can see this one okay and if you want me to do a separate review video on liquid mats and if you want me to swatch everything i'll do that like lip swatches of uh, just finger swatches i'll just definitely do that angelic and angelic i th i think huda's favorite shade as well because she used this shade in two of her eyeshadow palettes as well and i really love this one and this is also really nice mystical and bougie So this is very much it. Yeah. Now back to cleaning and yes, thank you all for watching this video and bearing everything that I said. And yes, please make sure to hit the like button and share with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are here for the first time. You are most welcome and yes. Uh make sure to hit the notification bell as well and yes if you want me to do a complete uh, like what i have 
uh, I'll definitely do because uh, this is just one part of my vanity. The others are yes still left. So I'll definitely do that as well. And thank you all and good night. Bye bye.